Hi there. Welcome back to Turning the Verge. I'm Emily Corbett, and tonight we are here with Boom Cats, which is a local Orange County hip-hop group, and they're going to tell us a little bit more about hip-hop, where they uh, get their inspiration from, and where they're headed in the next few years. So to start off, I'd like to introduce you to all of them. we got six members here right now. Down here on the, the left, my left. Sonja. Hi, I'm Hi, and that's H-A-I, not H-I-G-H. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm me, as in M-I, not M-E. Hi, I'm Vivian. Hi, I'm Nyung. It's spelled like N-G-I-N. Hi, I'm V. V and Vivian. Perfect. And is there somebody here that's a leader that kind of takes charge? <laughs> Yay. Me takes charge. Hi. And I heard you're the manager. <laughs> yeah. So... How do you go about managing a hip-hop group? What are some things that, you know, when you have to interview and pick people to put together hip-hop, what do you look for? Um, well, uh, we all met on through Craigslist. Um, everyone here auditioned through Craigslist, and we're looking for girls who can um, perform and learn choreography. Um, and also girls who are interested in freestyling because um, that's what we want to do with our team. We want to incorporate choreography and freestyle. Um, Perfect. Yeah. So freestyle freestyle versus regular hip-hop, what's the difference? Um, freestyling is a part of hip-hop. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's more just about coming from the soul in the moment rather than choreographed movement. Well, um I would say there are two different ways to dance. One is that with choreography, um, the counts are um, made up for you already, and you perform those counts. With freestyle, it's more of an individualistic thing. It's kind of like you you jump into a dance circle, and you don't really know what you're going to do, and it's just very spontaneous. Which seems like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Out. Hopefully you guys can teach me later on. <laughs> so do you all have a specialty? It seems like freestyle is the overall vibe of the group, but there's lots of different styles, pop and lock. I learned a few others recently. Yeah. What are your specialties? We all have different specialties. Yeah, um, everyone in our group is unique because everyone has a different style or like a favorite style that they like to like um, try to devote themselves into, and uh, my style is breaking. I also break. Break dancing. I found my new calling recently is new Jack Jack Swing. is basically to the new early 90s music like MC Hammers, Grandmaster Flash. And it's really just really, it's all just grooving and just And you really compared it to, uh, when you were trying to tell me a little bit before about that type to the guy that is on... Uh, what is it again? The America's show? Best Dance Crew. America's group. first, uh, America's best, best dance, dance group. Yeah. And then also on America's Top Model, if you remember the guy that was the coach to help the models, he was very flamboyant over the top. Didn't know there was a dance. And apparently now that's the thing. It's a new hip-hop form. So hopefully we have some footage of that that you guys can see. And Sonja, I heard that you do pop and lock. I've been popping for four years now, and I've been doing nothing but freestyling. So being in this dance team now has helped me express myself to work with others, and it's a beautiful thing because I've never learned choreography before, so this is a big step for me in dance. Definitely, just getting in your personality in the dance, showing your soul as well, and yeah. hip-hop. I can tell as well as everybody watching, you got to have a lot of personality. You got to have a lot of style. So, how do you guys stand out in the hip hop group? We got Hello Kitty, hi, easy to remember. Um, because hip hop seems to be evolving, evolving very fast. So, what do you think helps you stand out? When I think of hip hop, I feel like it's a very funky, groovy being very free with yourself and being creative and um like when we dress up it's it's ourselves and we're trying to show the world like what we're all about and so we put all this funky flavor and it so also your soul tells you and you put it out there and you take take risks you take yeah. risks just to show yourself as an artist absolutely a lot more than maybe someone playing guitar or a lead singer 
for opera. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> so it makes it even more interesting to watch because hip-hop also is supposed to be extremely entertaining. And I'm excited to see a little bit more about your dance. You also are entering some contests coming up, some shows, showcases to get your names out. What, what do you have coming up? Right now we're in training mode. We want to be competitive with um, states, different states, different countries. And right now we're just working on performances. Whatever comes to us, we would be down to perform um, for... So if there's anybody out there, these guys do weddings, and I heard they're amazing. <laughs> so they're, they're just now starting off, but I'm sure just the more exposure they get, the better it's going to be and the bigger the name they're going to have. Um, so before we wrap it up and we see a little bit more about your dance, I want to uh, discuss a little bit more about your inspiration because we're really hitting on how hip-hop, you really have to be in touch with the soul and your individual self-expression. So if you each want to kind of express where you got your inspiration to be in hip-hop and maybe some artists that you like. I um, think of hip-hop as a very beautiful thing. I have big, big mentors. I, Pandora, Funny Bones crew, Culture Shock LA for always having open sessions for all ages for free. And I have a lot of... All I want to do really with my dance and my dance team, I want to inspire all little kids, older people. Like, I just want to, I want them to feel what I feel and I want to help inspire the world. It's nice. Definitely. Mm, that was nice. That was beautiful. <laughs> Good to have a way to express yourself. <laughs> well, um, as far as my personal inspiration, I grew up listening to Michael Jackson, you know, dancing and just like I remember just dancing, you know, in my little tidy whities just to Michael Jackson, <laughs> just rocking out to it. And so as I get older, though, like when I look back on those videos, I see like I see it in new lights. You know, it's like I want to recreate that. I want to be able to express myself like that. And so that's my personal inspiration. But for a team. I look up to, um, I don't know if you ever heard of Sirens, they're an all-female dance crew, and they're specialized, and they're really versatile, and they're really, like, they're really out there, too, and I want us to be like them, you know, like, I want us to someday, you know, get to that point where we're a little bit older, but we still really love dancing, we're still doing what we love, and we're still just putting it out there, you know, and it's, it's awesome. And what was the name again? Sorry. Sirens. Sirens. Yeah. We want to... Don't want to be like them, but we want to <laughs> have our own flavor. Right. To be De well, every, like them. every artist has to have an inspiration, and you, you copy what's right, and you, you make what's it your wrong. own. That's, that's art right there. So, does anybody else have any names that they'd like to share or where their inspiration comes from? V? Vivian and V? Yeah, hi, my name is Vivian, and uh, I started breaking about like five years ago and like what got me started was um well I saw some kids dancing in the hallways and I was really really fascinated with their dancing and you know the way they control their body so well their balance and everything so I went to check out this group and it was a it was a club for breaking it was called Club Soul and like the more I got into the club um the more I found out about the music I love break music I love old hip hop from the 1980s Grandmaster Flash um you know all them Africa Bombada, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love oldies, yeah. Because the music back then to me was so raw. And like when I dance, like I want to be raw. Like that's what's, I think that's what makes um, choreography different from freestyling because freestyling is more raw and out there, you know? Mm -hmm. And choreography is like you're just ticking and doing someone else's moves. It's not 100% you. So freestyle, you get to you know, express yourself 100% of who you are. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, one of my biggest inspiration, uh, inspirational dancers is actually uh, Narumi from um, Queens of Queens. Narumi? She, yeah, B girl Narumi. She kind of looks like this girl right here. <laughs> no, I'm serious. So much. I, I, I came in here all dressed up yeah. like a pop artist. Like, I got this covered. I listened to yeah. Tribe Quest. I mean, there's. And I'm <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of you know interesting and cool crews on America's Best Dance Crew, but then the real scene is the underground scene, you know, underground. things people never seen before. You know, mm -hmm. there's way more out there than what's shown on TV. You know, underground was way more raw. And the reason why I love Narumi is because 
she just goes up to guys and she treats them like an equal, like, you know, she doesn't get easy props just for being for I mean, just for being a girl. Absolutely. Yeah. And V? Well, well, you can see all of us. Our inspiration actually comes from, you know, community um, crews. Like, it's not always from celebrities who can dance. Even though I love Usher's dancing, mm -hmm. it's we kind of inspire each other. Like we see on TV, these you know kids coming from Orange County, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden they just want America's Best Dance Crew. We draw our inspiration from that, and we draw our inspiration from each other because we all love to dance. You guys all became friends in the group, so you're all kind of starting off and forming the group at the same time, which is probably really helpful, um, just overall style of the group. And one more. I also want to give a shout out to Funny Bones Crew and my boyfriend that's in Funny Bones Crew who always made me be competitive and always step up to the plate. And I just want to say thank you for that. Perfect. Well, I definitely appreciate all of you putting your heart out there. Um, I know that hip-hop seems tough and rough on the outside, but there's a lot of soul and there's a lot of risk and there's a lot of emotion down there, happy and sad, and that's what makes it so, so amazing to watch. Um, before we wrap it up with the interview, which has been great, let us know a little bit more about where you're going to be performing or where we can maybe find you doing a show. Um, so right now we're in our laboratory, um, but <laughs> but you can find us on Facebook, okay. facebook.com slash the boom cats. Got it. Facebook okay. boom cats, B-O-O-M cats. The boom cats. The boom cats. Perfect. Thank anything you. Anything else? Anywhere else you guys going to shout out? No? add anything? We're good. Um, shout out to my first breaking teachers, um, Wen Rock from Sirens and Tom Nguyen, my boyfriend. Perfect. Thank you again, Boomcats, all of you. Me, hi, Vivian V, Nyung, which I got that right first time on, first time. And of course, Sonja down in the front. I'm Emily Corbett, and thank you again for joining us on Turning the Verge. We're going to do a little bit of footage of the dance team, and we'll be all seeing you next time.